In 2000, scientists looked to date what they thought was the oldest star in the universe. observations via the European Space Agency's ESA Hipparchos satellite and estimated that HD 140283, or Methuselah as it's commonly known, was a staggering 16 billion years old. Such a figure was rather baffling. After all, the age of the universe, determined from observations of the cosmic microwave background, is 13.8 billion years old. So how can a star be older than the universe? It was a serious discrepancy, says astronomer Howard Bond of Pennsylvania State University. So with that in mind, Bond and his colleagues set out to discover the truth and test the accuracy of the figure. Their conclusions were just as mind-blowing. Astronomers began observing Methuselah, named in reference to a biblical patriarch who is said to have died age 969, making him the longest lived of all the figures in the Bible more than 100 years ago. The curious star is located some 190 light years away from Earth in the constellation Libra, and it rapidly journeys across the sky at 800,000 miles per hour, 1.3 million kilometers per hour. It is difficult to imagine that only 90 years ago, we did not know about the existence of most of the universe around us. Most astronomers thought that the Milky Way contained all the stars in the universe. Albert Einstein added something called a cosmological constant to his equations to make sure the universe stayed still. In 1917, Hebrew doused Curtis witnessed a nova, a sudden burst of brightness resembling a new star within what was then referred to as the Andromeda Nebula. Novas typically emerge swiftly and then gradually dim over weeks or months. This intrigued Curtis, and he began looking for more novas in photographic records. He discovered 11 more of them, but what really got him curious was when he noticed that novas in Andromeda were drastically fainter than novas in the Milky Way. Based on this, Curtis was able to estimate that Andromeda was 500,000 light years away. As a result, Curtis became a proponent of the so-called island universes hypothesis, which held that objects previously believed to be spiral nebulae within the Milky Way were actually independent galaxies. This was a revolutionary step for mankind in cosmology. But we still assume that the universe was static. It was clear that the star was old. The metal-poor subgiant is predominantly made of hydrogen and helium and contains very little iron. Such composition meant the star must have come into being when helium and hydrogen dominated the universe, and before iron became commonplace, the heavier elements only appeared when massive stars created them in their cores. But could Methuselah really be more than two billion years older than its environment? Surely that is just not possible. Either the star was older than the universe, or the universe was not as young as scientists thought it to be. Or maybe the dating was simply all wrong. What was it to be? A mystery of this magnitude could not be ignored, so Bond and his colleagues attempted to unearth the truth by poring over 11 sets of observations that had been recorded between 2003 and 2011. These observations had been made by the fine guidance sensors of the Hubble Space Telescope, which noted the positions, distances, and energy output of stars. In acquiring parallax, spectroscopy, and photometry measurements, the scientists could determine a better sense of age. One of the uncertainties with the age of HD 140283 was the precise distance of the star, Bond said. It was important to get this right because we can better determine its luminosity and from that, its age. The brighter the intrinsic luminosity, the younger 
the star. We were looking for the parallax effect, which meant we were viewing the star six months apart to look for the shift in its position due to the orbital motion of the Earth, which tells us the distance. Bond adds that there were also uncertainties in the theoretical modeling of the stars, such as the exact rates of nuclear reactions in the core and the importance of elements diffusing downwards in the outer layers. So they worked on the idea that leftover helium diffuses deeper into the core, leaving less hydrogen to burn via nuclear fusion. With fuel used faster, the age is lowered. Another factor that was important was, of all things, the amount of oxygen in the star, Bond said. HD140283 had a higher than predicted oxygen to iron ratio, and since oxygen was not abundant in the universe for a few million years, it pointed again to a lower age for the star. As a result of all of this work, Bond and his collaborators estimated HD 140283's age to be 14.46 billion years. It was a significant reduction on the 16 billion previously claimed, but it was still more than the age of the universe itself. In that sense, it didn't clear up the mystery and, on the face of it, simply ensured Methuselah remained a curiosity. But the scientists posed a residual uncertainty of 800 million years, which Bond said made the star's age compatible with the age of the universe. It was a major breakthrough. Like all measured estimates, it is subject to both random and systematic error, said physicist Robert Matthews of Aston University in Birmingham, UK, who was not involved in the study. The overlap in the error bars gives some indication of the probability of a clash with cosmological age determinations. In other words, the best supported age of the star conflicts with that for the derived age of the universe as determined by the cosmic microwave background, and the conflict can only be resolved by pushing the error bars to their extreme limits. Further refinements saw the age of HD 140283 fall a bit more. A 2014 follow-up study, for instance, updated the star's age to 14.27 billion years. Again, if one includes all sources of uncertainty, both in the observational measurements and the theoretical modeling, the error is about 700 or 800 million years. So there is no conflict because 13.8 billion years lies within the star's error bar, Bond said. The conclusions are based on the idea of an expanding universe, as shown in 1929 by Edwin Hubble. This is fundamental to the Big Bang. The understanding that there was once a state of hot denseness that exploded out, stretching space. It indicates a starting point that should be measurable, but fresh findings are suggesting that the expansion rate is around 10% higher than the one suggested by Planck. Friends, what are your thoughts about this theory? Comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.